All the communities, cities, kibbutzes on the border of Israel, the different borders of Israel, have the first responders team. These are the civilian guards. Now these are kibbutz members or community members that live here on the ground. And whenever something happens with the security relevance, they're the first ones who are alerted. I am right now in Kfar Aza. This is one of the uh, kibbutzes in the envelope of Gaza that suffered the utmost on October 7th. I'm standing inside the room, the office, that served as the first responders. It's the civil guard group of Kfar Aza. And you can see behind me uh, what is left after the October 7th atrocities you can see even a candle that was lit to the memory of the members of the civil guard who really fought and tried to save lives of the communities. You can really understand that this is a war zone. These are seven heroes that belong to the civil guard of Kfar Aza. And on October 7th at 6.29 a.m. they took their weapons and ran out and confronted many dozens of Hamas terrorists. And these are the names. Shaha Raviani, who was the military security coordinator. Avi Hindi, the deputy military security coordinator. Tal Eilon, the commander of the civil guard. Aviv Baram, member of the civil guard. Nadav Amikam, another member of the Civil Guard, as well as Uri Russo, and my longtime friend, Ophir Lipstein, he was also a member of the Civil Guard, but also the uh, regional uh, council head of Shara Negev, uh, which I have been in ongoing contact with Ophir for, for years, and he was a great believer uh, in peace. They saved lives of many of the kibbutz members. Unfortunately, 72 of the kibbutz members were murdered by Hamas.